The decorative skulls you see everywhere during Day of the Dead are called calaveras, and the most popular calaveras originated with a political cartoonist and printmaker, José Guadalupe Posada. Born in 1852, Posada lived through some of Mexico's most turbulent times, and his first political cartoons were published when he was just a teenager. They were so successful, they forced a governor out of office, but Posada's new enemies forced him to flee town. In 1888, he moved to Mexico City, and in the following years, he helped publish tens of thousands of illustrated flyers, or volantes. These single-page tabloids were like our late-night talk shows. They were filled with biting political humor, and at a time when few could read, Posada's Calaveras became popular throughout Mexico. So popular, many believe he raised the country's political consciousness. And when the Mexican Revolution was just beginning, Posada published what would become his most famous image, La Catrina. At the time, many of Mexico's ruling class were obsessed with acting and looking European. To mock them, Posada put a fancy French hat on the Aztec's female god of death. His statement, rich or poor, we all die. Death is the great equalizer. As far as Posada, he died poor and mostly forgotten in 1913, but in the following decades, his influence on the great artists of Mexico became undeniable. Today, many consider Posada the father of modern Mexican art, and La Catrina has become the icon of Day of the Dead. Case at 12 presents another Day of the Dead story.